Hey guys, welcome back. Sitrep is, we're on Bastogne. We're in the P26A34, the premium, and uh, up against Germany and Italy. Just saw our first fighter, a little HE51. They've got three bombers on their side. Uh, I think they're all Stukas. Let's see if we can set this guy up. I'll dive down a little bit just to make it so that he uh, gets interested in maybe climbing towards us. I want to think he has a chance here. Alright, bait worked. Do have landing flaps, we're gonna go full flaps while he stalls out. A couple small hits there. We're just gonna go vertical turn, keep our energy up. See if we can get him to stall for us again. Take a look around, see our 32 coming in. So we don't want to give up too much energy here. Let's go ahead and uh, bring our nose back up. So this is basically the exact same thing as the other P26A. Only difference is you get uh, a little more research points and uh, a little more silver lions for the things you do. CR32 has those 50 cows that we love to play. Oh, probably don't want to get shot by. See what he does. Go full flaps, try and get inside of his turn. That worked pretty good. Check on this HE51 and check our back. So 112's coming our way. I think if we can get him to miss, we should do all right. Turn back towards. He's going for an attack. Sound like a 20 mil. I don't think I want to get shot by that. So we're just turning into his turns. I'm a little worried about the guy below us, but not terribly. We'll go full flaps, just get our nose around. A couple hits on. We don't have WEP on this plane, which sucks, but. Flaps again. Couple hits, plenty of ammo though. Stuka below us. Just keep flying straight, buddy. Alright, he's chasing his HE51. I think at this point we're going to go ahead and uh, get some altitude. Try to keep that Stuka on us. Not too worried about him. We should be able to outclimb him. All right, so now we got ourselves in a little bit of a situation. So it's 1v3. Not ideal. Let's get underneath the guns of the uh, HE. Heard that 20 mil. Alright, he's down. For all intents and purposes. Going full flaps. Turn into his turn. Just watch those guns. If they'll let us do the landing flaps, we'll do it. Still plenty of ammo. Nice. All right, stick us over there. We got 330 rounds left. A few uh, ground targets in front of us, so we'll go play with those for a second. AA's first. Don't worry about the uh, other guys later. Boy, they're in the middle of the trees, aren't they? Oh no, we got a road here. All right, so let's try and line them up with our approach. Jesus, didn't kill him, but hopefully I scared the shit out of him. Alright, FW200 up high. I think at this point we're just gonna go return to base. Let's take a look. Over towards our right there, so I will check in with you guys when I am repaired, refueled, and rearmed.
All right, guys, so we are rearmed, refueled, and repaired. Um, sit rep is just us and a swordfish on our side. I think they just have one stuke on their side. I don't see him currently, and I'm not super worried about him if we get into a dogfight. There he is. Check that. Let's go get him. So let's see where his airfield is. It's over here, so we're going to aim a little bit left. Assume he's going to go that way. I think it's going to be too close. Airfield's there. We're going to start to get shot at. So let's just let him run. Let's work on some ground targets. We know where he's going to be. Let him rearm. He's been going for bases. We know where our last base is, so just meet him on the way. Focus on these armored cars for a second. Normally I try to get a few in a pass, but these uh, 30 cals are not all they're uh, cracked up to be. So. Maybe we'll try two on this one. Have to settle for one. Let's go take out this AA. It's going to be bothersome. Yeah, he's definitely going back to base. That's fine. Got plenty of ammo. We'll probably uh, just focus on grounds for a while. Let him repair. Rearm. Those are trees. Almost caught one. Alright, so A is going to be on us now. We're way too high, but we'll just use our flaps to get back around quickly. Try to get them before they get us. One more behind us, then we can focus on the howitzers. If we get the howitzers, it's going to help with our uh, our points we're losing right now, so. Alright, so now we're clear to engage. Howitzers, if you see how they're lined up, you want to attack them from basically the enemy side. If you attack them from our side, they got sandbags in front of them that can get in the way. So flaps again. One at a time, just line them up. Missile. Oh, these guys don't have sandbags. Interesting. Alright, flip back around. Yeah, he does have a sandbag. God damn it. <laughs> Alright. Hopefully this time we'll actually get it. Alright. Slow rolling. This makes me miss some 50 cals. Um, so, talking about while we're just sitting here effing around. Um, this P-26. So, again, it's exactly the same as the other P-26A. Same climb rate, same everything. Um, only difference is you get a few more points for doing stuff. Uh, I think it's super inexpensive, but I'm not sure I'd buy it, to be honest with you. it uh, You're just not going to use it that much. And again, the, the benefit you get of a little more RP and, uh, and Silver Lions just really isn't worth it. I'd, I'd save my money and focus on a tier 2, tier 3 premium. They're going to do you a lot better. This might be game. I did it. So we ended up with three air targets. We got Thunder. Um, ended up with 12 grounds. If you look at the RP on this, like the mod research, 13,000. You did freaking 
add quite a bit towards it. Now, these come with all the mods already on the premium, so it doesn't really do you a lot of good, but vehicle research, 2,600 points um, for RP, and we ended up with first place on the team. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you on the next one. America! Fuck yeah! To save this fucking day, yeah! Beautiful.